Topping news, a search for a better life turned deadly for 17 Haitian migrants who drowned on a capsized vessel seven miles off New Providence early Sunday. The ordeal is believed to be a smuggling operation gone awry. Authorities are tonight investigating the circumstances surrounding the tragedy. A multi-agency approach has now been activated to assist in search and recovery operations. Those who died include 15 females, one male and an infant. Of the survivors, 25 were rescued and have been turned over to health professionals for processing. The Office of the Prime Minister engaging the media this afternoon during an emergency press briefing to provide details on the incident. Our Desmond Sanders was there. Two Bahamian males are in custody in connection with that senseless boating tragedy that claimed the lives of 17 Haitian migrants. They are known to us uh, for various offenses, I would say. Commissioner of Police Clayton Fernandez says a duo are believed to be captains of that human smuggling operation, those 60 migrants paying three to $8,000 for freedom. We are looking at a view, not only the smuggling, but you are looking at manslaughter, you are looking at uh, an unsafe vessel. So we are going deep into this uh, with respect to charges. The blue twin-engine speedboat left a docking facility off West Bay Street around Sunday at 1 a.m. with 60 persons on board. As investigations are underway, Attorney General and Acting Minister of Health, the Honorable Ryan Pender, says those responsible will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. To the extent that those uh, investigations reveal criminal culpability, uh, there will be no resistance by the government of the Bahamas in bringing the necessary uh, criminal action and criminal enforcement action uh, against those uh, who, are who are deservingly so. Prime Minister Philip Davis, disturbed over the recent events, expressed condolences to the families of the deceased. Information on the victims still being collected Davis pledging his government support to clamp down on human smuggling. Law enforcement officials will update you on the criminal matter as well as other rescue and recovery efforts. However, I would like to convey the condolences of my government and the people of the Bahamas to the families of those who lost their lives in this tragedy. The 60 migrants were en route to Miami. They were found seven miles off New Providence, 1 a.m. Sunday, by Royal Bahamas Police and Defense Force officers. The 25 survivors treated for dehydration and their drowning symptoms at the Princess Margaret Hospital. They are presently housed at the detention center, Carmichael Road. We were able to see there were 17 persons that were pulled from the waters who are all deceased. Um, in those numbers, there are 16 females, 15 adult females and one toddler, unfortunately, around the age, appeared to be between four and five, and one male. We did have an opportunity to isolate them in an external cooler all by themselves as to ensure that chain of custody and ensure that we're able to work with our partners. The search continues for the remaining victims at sea. Law enforcement officials now ramping up its surveillance following this ordeal. I'm Desmond Saunders for the Bahamas Tonight. Meantime, Minister of Labor and Immigration, the Honorable Keith Bell, says he's reached out to Haitian officials to convey condolences for those who perished in that tragedy at sea. We also have reaction tonight from President of the League of Haitian Pastors, Dr. Jean Paul Charles. He said he's saddened over the senseless tragedy involving his countrymen. Oftentimes, Haitian nationals seek to transit the Bahamas in search of a better life, at times using smugglers to do so. He shared what the League is doing as it looks for ways to assist. We just want to see the one who needs our comfort uh, to go to the house, the, the uh, immediate family. Uh, to get close to them and uh, to pray with them, to offer them any type of help that we can. And in the Asian League of Pastors, we are working right now because everybody, we we, we didn't know anything until the church finished uh, two days after one uh, to know what happened. Now we are trying now to see if we can have a, an emergency meeting in the Asian Pastors to see, to get prepared uh, for you know how we can uh, offer our help in any kind of way. We all uh, suffer uh, in that loss. And uh, I can say uh, my sincere condolences to uh, all of the Haitian national 
in the Bahamas or in the world.